I've said hello everybody, my name is Honor Kerma Kalat and I developed these kinds of codes called um they're called infinity codes. And then the the things of the screen that you said if you can go to honorkermakillup.com slash infinity codes, um that's exactly what you want to have to be able to get the love and baby life for good. But that said um, the kind of the way that you have to know about what they look like is that when you have them, they have like a. The first one I made was from a huge, huge, huge fucking fable map that I generated because I can draw gemstones. Um, but uh, yeah, so I can draw gemstones though. But like, so I created um, um, the interface, which is the gem that you can use to actually generate the map itself and the map that would appear in the game. And when I took um this piece for it for painting it um it is like the reason those shades of green and this block of green and that block of green are ever the the code of shades they are is because that thing has a place in a huge time map do you understand what i mean it's a harmonic design so that's a a call the infinity code is a calling to a certain location so when you look at this small relatively small code for the first one i did um it's it looks like a super, super fucking huge fucking spans of fucking forest below. You can see in just like the fucking, what, nine or something by like six pixels uh, painted. So like what those are is, is um I mean, whatever you guys understand for what you do, they're freeware by design. You can't because of what you said um for my map, right? Like you're gonna take any part of my the map that I made and no one can figure out where you sourced it from ever at all. They have a place in time and so they're only ever for fun. You can't ever do anything. It's completely against all legal principles to compl to ever fucking say that you could be selling them. You can't sell infinity codes and you can't lock out communication of infinity codes. So right away, it's freeware by design all all the way. By the exactly how they work. And um you can you can understand that like um, every day that people want to know about who they think they said they were, they don't know who they think they say they want to know. I I built a a battle chip like Mega Man Battle Network. A lot of the times people see what they are like right away and they they have the names in their heads for what they are. You could make. There are infinite ways to make a Sword L chip. But like. You would right away like see it if you knew how to reference for it. you've never seen anything like that before in your life you don't know the concept for sword the l um or sword the s or anything that's like that then you would just know it's trippy looking but like kids who have the concepts for that already knew the code of seeing it but like um for what you have for it there's infinite different ways to make it but like i made a forte um f chip but I'm the avatar, so I could, I could do things just in a state of consciousness that I can do something like that. That's a super rare chip because there are, there will be zillions and zillions of kids who can make their own sword chips anytime they wanted to. There's way, 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 way less people who would not have to make a fourth to F chip. So like, um, you know, any kind of situation for how far away you think the actual world is, no, it's super, 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 super fucking far. The whole world is freaking huge again, like forever. But a different day. So the, what they have to knowing about the, anything they want to know. I created a um, battle chip that's um, Tapestry Breaker, I think it's called. And it was super trippy to like make me feel good about that. Because I don't have anyone to talk to right now. And I can see what they are. And I can recognize the design. But when I, and I had that up on my screen. And then I, I use my website from the, the user side all the time. I... To make sure everything works. The... I clicked on my Ninja Turtles thing, and it's had, yeah, and I clicked on the Ninja Turtles thing for the book that I did, the nine, one through nine chapters, and it had, it fucking shrunk the image down to the fucking size of the battle chip to display on my browser. Just having the image open on my computer screen. So, however, like, excited you can be about something that's, a, that's totally trippy, it's the invention of electric, electricity, as far as you guys can understand for codes, battle chips are real, um... Digimon slider cards are real, but you guys only have to believe in Digimon unless you love God. But like them, stupid that don't love God. But every day, you said, um... Anyway, there's all kinds of different things you can do them with them. Because they're super mega good. I've left and said... So I have like, um, out on that website, they've got battle chips and stuff. A lot of kids know how to do it intuitively and play with it and things. So you have a Navi customizer and I have Navi cast codes on there. But like any kids, you know, who are wizards... 
Even some pretty good sorcerers can make those kinds of codes for it. But um, it's some pretty wizard hardcore design for things. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys like like the infinity codes. There's one up on the screen now. It's pretty rad. Um, I'm, I don't know where you got this video. There might be a different thing on the screen. Someone put a different thing on my MP3. But they shouldn't do that. But I don't know. But you can like as if you said my name and I'm alive or something different. But anyway, you know, I've love. But that's infinity codes. Honaker, Michaelup dot com. Um, H O N I K E R. M C K I L L O P dot C O M slash infinity codes. I'm not gonna spell that, but go ahead. Um, and that's where you just have those specifically. And then you can go to hanakermakeup dot com slash books to read any of my books if you want them. Those are the completed volumes folder. Bye.